Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And Welcome back to lecture 3 of 6 So for this lecture we have 3 learning outcomes Okay So at the end of the lecture Students should be able to A. Explain the meaning of a set and its conjugate B. Express it in simplified form C. Perform algebraic operations on set Okay so first one, what is set? So we have seen this symbol and this is set. Okay. So what is the definition? An expression that one or more irrational roots. For example, we have set 2, set 3 and set 5. Okay. So for the set, we always express set in its simplest form. For example, we have set 18 equals to 3 set 2. And this one is set 48 equals to 4 set 3. Okay. So the big question is how we move from the left hand side to the right hand side. Okay. To answer these questions, we need rules of sets. Okay. So we have 8 rules of sets. I uh, will go through one by one. Okay. So first one, we have set A multiplied by set A. This one equals to A. This is rule number one. Rule number two, we have set A multiplied by set B equals to set A multiplied by B, where A and B is greater than or equals to zero. This is rule number two. Okay. Rule number three, we have set A over B equals to set A over set B. Again, where A and B is greater than or equals to 0. This is rule number 3. Rule number 4, we have A set B plus C set B equals to. Okay, so how do we get this one? We factorize set B. So therefore, we have A plus C set B. This is rule number 4. Rule number 5, we have A set B minus c set b equals to a minus c set b how do we get this one we factorize this is rule number five so rule number six we have set a plus set b power of two so equals to a plus two set a b plus b so how do we get this one we expand this is rule number six Rule number 7, we have set A plus set B, set A minus set B, so we expand this one equals to A minus B, this is rule number 7, okay. Rule number 8, we have set A multiplied by 1 over set A, this one equals to 1, this is rule number 8, okay. Okay. So first one, uh, example one, we need to simplify, okay? So we have five questions here, we will go through one by one. So for question A, we have set 27, okay? Set 27 equals to set 9 multiplied by 3, okay? So next step, we split into two, which is, we can write as set 9, set 3, okay? And we know set 9 equals to 3, set 3 we cannot simplify anymore so therefore the final answer is 3 set 3 this is question A for question B we have set 80 ok set 80 set 80 equals to set 16 multiplied by 5 ok again we split into 2 we have set 16 we have set 5 ok and set 16 equals to 4 and set 5 we cannot simplify anymore so the final answer is 4 set 5 this is question B so question C we have 7 set 3 plus 5 set 12 ok so first one we write 7 set 3 plus 5 and set 12 we can write as set 4 multiplied by 3 ok so next step we write 7 plus set 3 plus 5 we split into 2 this one so we should have set 4 set 3 ok and we know set 4 is 2 so we rewrite this one we have 7 set 3 plus 5 2 set 3 
okay next step we have set 3 we have set 3 we factorize so we factorize we have 7 we have 7 so 5 2 is 10 10 so set 3 is set 3 okay therefore final answer is 17 so how do we get 17 7 plus 10 so 17 set 3 this is question c question d we have 5 set 6 multiplied by 3 set 2 okay this one equals to so 5 multiplied by 3 15 set 6 multiplied by set 2 we have set 12 okay so next step we split 12 okay we have 15 set 4 multiplied by 3 okay next we split into 2 we have 15 set 4 set 3 then set 4 is 2 so 2 multiplied by 15 is 30 so therefore the final answer is 30 set 3 this is question d question e we have uh, set 3 minus 2 set 2 and then the next term is uh, set 3 plus set 2 so how we do solve this one we expand so set 3 multiplied by set 3 we have 3 set 3 multiplied by set 2 we have positive set 6 so negative 2 set 2 multiplied by set 3 we have negative 2 set 6 and finally we have negative 2 set 2 multiplied by set 2 so we have negative 2 and 2 Okay, we simplify this one and final answer should be negative 1 minus set 6. This is question C. Alright, so next is uh, rationalizing the denominator. What does it mean? It is a process to create a rational number in the denominator of a set expression. Okay, so how do we rationalize? we need to use conjugate okay pay attention make sure you know how to get conjugate so for example here the conjugate for set a plus set b is set a minus set b this is very easy so if the symbol here is positive then the conjugate should be negative if the symbol here is negative then the conjugate should be positive okay so we will look closer one by one here so first one so we have a table here so if denominator contains set denominator okay so we are working with fraction and you look at the denominator okay so this one we multiply by conjugate so first one if the denominator has set a so what is the conjugate the conjugate is set a itself okay second if the denominator has 1 plus set a and the conjugate should be 1 minus set a so this one is plus the conjugate should be minus okay third uh, if the denominator has a minus set b and the conjugate should be a plus set b that is the third one the first one is if the denominator has set A minus set B and the conjugate should be set A plus set B. And finally, if the denominator has set A minus B, then the conjugate should be set A plus B. So we have example 2 here. Okay. So rationalize the denominator and simplify each of the following. So rationalize okay, the denominator. What does it mean here? You will see you will work with fractions and you will see the set appear in the denominator. Okay. So what we should do, we don't want the set to appear in the de denominator. Okay. So question A here, we have 8 over 4. 5 set 3 so we, this is the denominator and you see here our denominator has set which is set 3 so we don't want this one we need to rationalize this okay so how do we rationalize this one okay so we take 8 over 5 set 3 multiply by set 3 over set 3 this one it should be equal it should be the same set 3 set 3 okay 
So this one simplify. So 8 multiplied by set 3 is 8 set 3. Okay. So this one 5 should be 5. So set 3 multiplied by set 3 is 3. Okay. Next step equals to 8 set 3 over 15. Okay. So from example A here you see we begin with the set in the denominator. We don't want this form. Okay, that's why we need to rationalize. So after we rationalize, you will see in the denominator we don't have set anymore. Okay, the set now appear in the numerator. So that means we rationalize the set expression already. Okay, that is question A. So question B, we have set 7 over 3 okay so equals to we, we can write set 7 over set 3 okay so here we have do you see here we have set in the denominator so we need to rationalize this one okay equals to set 7 over set 3 multiplied by set 3 over set 3 okay this one why you multiply by set 3 not set 7 over set 7 because we need to take the set from the denominator okay set 7 is numerator set 3 is denominator so that's why we need we multiply by set 3 over set 3 okay we simplify so set 7 multiply by set 3 equals to set 21 and set 3 set 3 equals to 3 so final answer is set 21 over 3 again we check so here we have set 3 in the denominator and now we our set is in the numerator so we have rationalized this question okay this is question b question c we have 1 over 7 minus set 2 okay again check okay you see here so this one we have set in the denominator we don't want this form okay so how we remove this form we need to multiply by the conjugate so equals to 1 over 7 minus set 2 multiply by so this one is negative you should expect the conjugate should be positive so we multiply by 7 plus set 2 over 7 plus set 2 okay so from this step numerator multiply by numerator denominator multiply by denominator okay so first one we have 7 plus set 2 over 49 minus 2 so how do we get 49 minus 2 you multiply and uh, you multiply the denominator correctly okay one by one if you are unsure okay we simplify and then therefore we should have 7 plus set 2 over 47 this is question c question d we have set 2 minus set 3 over set 2 plus set 3 okay again if we check so we have set in the denominator we don't want this one okay we need to rationalize so how do we rationalize we multiply by the conjugate okay so equals to set 2 minus set 3 over set 2 plus set 3 multiplied by what is the conjugate set 2 minus set 3 over set 2 minus set 3 okay so this one why minus this one because this one is positive so the conjugate should be negative okay so how do we solve this one again you multiply numerator and numerator denominator and denominator okay so for the numerator first so we should have 2 minus set 6 minus set 6 uh, set 6 plus 3 over 2 minus 3 if you need clarification for this one you can ask your tutor okay so simplify this one we should have 5 minus 2 set 6 over negative 1 okay so since this one is over negative 1 we can simplify further so therefore the final answer should be 2 set 6 minus 5 this is question B okay uh, question E so we have uh, root 5 plus root 3 over no not root sorry guys okay again so for question E we have set 5 plus set 3 
over z5 minus z3 minus 1 minus z3 over 1 plus z3 ok, so for question E we have two terms now this is the first term this is the second term since we have two terms we should expect we should multiply by two different conjugate ok, so for the first term first so our first term is z5 plus z3 over z5 minus z3 so what is the conjugate so this one is negative so the conjugate should be positive so we multiply by z5 plus z3 over z5 plus z3 ok so this one is for the first term so second term we have minus 1 minus z3 over 1 plus z3 so this one is positive so we should expect the conjugate should be negative so we have negative negative so we have 1 minus z3 over 1 minus z3 ok so this is one this is for first uh, first term and this one is for the second term so what is the next step we multiply numerator and numerator denominator and denominator ok so for this one for the first term here so if we multiply the numerator we should have 5 plus 2 z15 plus 3 over 5 minus 3 ok so this one minus this one minus ok uh, we, we, uh, now we multiply this numer numerator with this numerator we should have 1 minus 2 z3 plus 3 over 1 minus 3 ok next step we simplify so we have 8 plus 2 z15 over 2 minus 4 minus 2 z3 over minus 2 ok so careful here we have negative here we have negative here we can simplify then we should have positive so this one we have 8 plus 2 z15 over 2 plus 4 minus 2 z3 over 2 ok so we have two fractions and these two fractions the denominator is 2 this one is 2 this one is 2 what does it mean we can combine the two fractions so if we combine so we should have 12 plus 2 z15 minus 2 z3 over 2 ok so we have 12 we have 2 we have 2 we can simplify further divide by 2 so final answer should be 6 plus z15 minus z3 this is question E ok so finally question F we have two terms so first one is 1 plus z2 over 1 minus z2 plus 1 minus z2 over 1 plus z2 ok since we have two terms we should expect to multiply by two different conjugate ok for the first term we have 1 plus z2 over 1 minus z2 multiply by so this one is negative the conjugate should be positive which is 1 plus z2 over 1 plus z2 ok so this one is for the first term so second term we have 1 minus z2 over 1 plus z2 ok this one is plus so the conjugate should be negative so that's why we multiply by 1 minus z2 over 1 minus z2 ok so after we write the conjugate we simplify how do we simplify numerator multiplied by numerator denominator multiplied by denominator ok for the first term we have 1 plus 2 z2 plus 2 over 1 minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 z2 plus 2 over 1 minus 2 ok so if we simplify further this one we should have 3 plus 2 z2 over negative 1 plus 3 minus 2 z2 over negative 1 ok so we have two fractions here and both fraction has have negative 1 ok so we can combine these two fractions so we have 3 plus 2 z2 plus 3 minus 2 z3 over negative 1 so since this one also over negative 1 careful with the negative number so we have negative 3 minus 2 z2 minus 3 plus 2 z2 so if we simplify this one the final answer should be negative 6 right and in this video uh, I just really brief explain so how do we multiply numerator 
multiply numerator and numerator, denominator and denominator. If you are unsure, please ask your lecturer to do it one by one. Okay. Uh, that's it from me. Uh, we done lecture three. All right. If you have question for rationalizing the denominator, uh, do not hesitate to ask your tutor. Okay. Because this one is uh, a bit tough for someone, and it's be okay for someone else. Okay. Don't hesitate to ask your tutor. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you soon.